Hey everyone, this is Josh from before, and I'm here with McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Reverse Flash. From DC Rebirth, photo of the figure on the back. Here's that if you need it. I got this through Amazon pre-order. It was delayed a few times, it finally arrived. Obviously this guy's just essentially a repaint of this Rebirth Flash that we've had for some time, but this figure came out before I started this channel, so I've never reviewed it. Uh, so it'll be fun to take a, a quick look at this guy. Let's get him out of here. Taking a look at him here, pretty much what we expected. He's got a different left hand. He's got a different face sculpt. The shade of yellow they used is kind of a dandelion yellow. It's When I was looking at it in the box, I, I thought it might... It seemed like it had a little bit of a reddish tint to it, but I thought maybe that was just kind of this color reflecting in the box, but it's not. It's a different yellow. I'm not sure if I love it. Like I said, it's got a little bit... It's like a dandelion yellow. So like I said, we've had that rebirth flash for a while, so we've kind of seen what that figure is capable of, but I'll just kind of throw him into a quick sort of running pose here. This new hand here on the left is pretty good. I wasn't quite sold on it at first because I didn't think it communicated like speed and running quite as uh, well as that one, but it's actually, uh, when you look at him like that, it's actually pretty strong. I, you know what? I was wrong. I think I said that this has a new head, but I'm pretty sure it's just the reuse of the head that came with the two-pack version with Red Death. Um, but they, I love the way they painted these eyes there. Evil glowy effect. Looks solid. I've thrown him into just like a little, you know, quick running pose here. One thing, if you're trying to put him into a real solid lean, one thing I would do with that old one is I would turn that ab section around and flip that and it gets him a little bit lower. Although I say that, and it seems like maybe this head doesn't turn turn up quite as much as this other one did. So that leaning running pose is kind of negated by not being able to get that head looking up. So forget that advice. He comes with color swapped versions of the Speed Force effects that came on that first Rebirth Flash. So there's two of this length and shape. There are two of this smaller length and shape. There is this foot wedge one, and there is this two prong one that plugs into his back. These things are, are, are pretty fun, I gotta say. And you can, you can put them wherever you want, and you could kind of mix and match. So you want to do it where you had the um, long pieces on his arms and the short ones on his legs, you could do that. Or if you wanted to Maybe you want to force perspective a little bit, so you put the long ones on the front facing sides, and then the shorter ones are back here on the limbs that are farthest away. So I love this wedge shape one that fits into his back here, and then now it has a hole on the bottom. So if you plug that into the hockey puck stand, you get a little extra sturdiness, stability. Maybe he's not going to stay in that, that pose without some extra help, but... But it encourages you to to spend time trying to get him in a running pose and gives you that little bit of extra leverage and stability. It's a nice touch. Then you got this big one for his back that plugs in here. Again, maybe not the most subtle or sophisticated thing with these big hinges, but really appreciate that it lets you kind of choose. So if you got him in a different direction and you want to want to get it just right to accentuate the pose that you've you've put the figure in, it's really nice. It's really fun to be able to, to move those around a little bit. And, and make them, you know, you get them to fall in that negative space a little bit just the way you want. It gives you a little bit of control over the composition of your pose. It's nice. Here he is next to a couple of heroes. Here he is next to a couple of villains. Can't be mad about a, a very strong Flash villain being added to the multiverse line. That is reverse Flash, guys. Uh, for me, I don't really need this guy. The thing is, by the time we actually even get a decent... Justice League, complete Justice League lineup. Even that team is kind of going to be fighting for a spot on my shelf space. So it's even more unlikely that uh, Reverse Flash is going to carve out a spot for himself. Nothing wrong with him. It just becomes about shelf space for me. But if you are somebody who's a huge Flash fan or just a big DC fan and you're excited to have more villains to add to your lineup, uh, this guy's pretty fun. Uh, I think long-awaited but they finally gave it to us. There you go, guys. You probably already knew if you needed this guy or not before you watched this video. So if you do, uh, go out there and get him. And if not, I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.